Hello and welcome to InfoWide. In this video, you will discover 10 foods that never or almost never expire. And here are the following. Number 1 is, White Rice. Researchers discovered that, when white or polished rice, stored in oxygen-free containers at temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, white or polished rice will retain its nutrient content and flavor for 30 years. Brown rice, on the other hand, does not keep as long as six months due to the natural oils found in its bran layer. Number two is honey. Honey has been considered the one food that lasts forever due to its magical chemistry and bees' handiwork. Flowers nectar reacts with enzymes in the bees that extract it, changing the nectar's composition and breaking it down into simple sugars that are deposited in honeycombs. The bee's wings and stomach enzymes combine to make a liquid that is both highly acidic and low in moisture, making it an unfavorable environment for bacterial development. Honey's indefinite shelf life is aided by its processing and sealing. Honey's sugars are hygroscopic, which means they absorb moisture from the air, despite its low moisture content. Moisture cannot be absorbed when the cooked and strained honey is properly sealed, and the honey remains unchanged indefinitely. The world's oldest jar of the sweet stuff is believed to be 5,500 years old. Number 3 is Salt. Given that sodium chloride is a mineral extracted from the earth, its long-term stability should come as no surprise. Because it removes moisture, it has also been used for centuries to preserve other foods or bodies. However, the salt in your pantry may not last forever. According to Morton Salt, adding iodine to table salt reduces its shelf life, so if your container says iodized salt, expect it to last only about five years. Number 4 is Soy Sauce. The general consensus appears to be that, it depends on the type and additives used by a particular brand, but unopened soy sauce will last a very long time. Even after it has been opened, the salty condiment will keep in your refrigerator for years. Number 5 is Sugar. The storage method you use for your sugar, like the others on this list, determines whether or not you can keep it forever. To keep moisture at bay, powdered and granulated sugar should be stored in airtight containers. Although retailers are required to stamp bags with dates, manufacturers claim that even hardened brown sugar is edible once softened. Number 6 is Dried Beans. As with the rice studies, Brigham Young University researchers discovered that the overall quality of pinto beans decreased after 30 years, but all samples were considered acceptable for use in an emergency situation by at least 80% of consumer panelists. Furthermore, protein digestibility was found to be stable over time. Number 7 is Maple Syrup. According to Utah State University's Guide to Food Storage for Emergencies, pure maple syrup and other commercial sugars such as honey and granular sugars have an indefinite shelf life due to their resistance to microbial growth, including molds. Although the Massachusetts Maple Producers Association agrees that unopened maple syrup will last indefinitely, they also provide consumers with the following instructions if molding occurs, if any harmless mold forms on the surface, simply bring the syrup to a gentle boil, skim the surface, and pour into a clean container to cool. Number 8 is Powdered Milk. Although the taste isn't quite as good, one of the main reasons powdered milk exists is that it lasts longer. It's also more convenient to transport and store than fresh milk. Number 9 is Hard Liquor. Toss out the cream liqueurs, but maintain a supply of the hard stuff on hand. 
While the flavors will almost likely change, as a result of oxidation, and an open bottle, may be missing a few ounces due to evaporation, your spirits will be safe to drink, as long as someone is present to do so. Number 10 is, Pemmican. Pemmican, which was invented by Native American tribes, is still a favorite among survivalists, looking for a long-lasting protein source. Dried meat from big wild animals, like elk or buffalo was pounded into a powder, and combined with berries, and rendered fat in the original recipes. The pemmican was then ready to eat uncooked, stewed, or fried. Pemmican recipes are often slightly adjusted nowadays, because to food safety, and dietary considerations, as well as accessible ingredients, yet some people swear by the superfoods durability. It's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.